Ja. Ja. Pega. Uh, wait, wait, my energy's too low. Uh, uh, so, it was me and Charmander, you know, the little red fire friend. Um, he's like a lizard, but he has a fire thingy on his tail that looks like a torch. Are you familiar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he sounds like Charmander, but mine sounds like Charmander. Uh, so we were traipsing about through the Galar uh, countryside uh, when we came across some ruffians uh, in with spiky hairdos and and uh, not cool. Uh, what do they call those things? It's like a flat plane of hair that goes down the vertical axis of your skull. A landing strip? Nope. Well, no, that's usually in your no-no zone. I'm thinking of a mohawk. Mohawk. So these guys were yelling at us. Um, and I'll give you, I'll give you a guess. What do you, what do you think we did? We ran away. No. Um, I assumed you were going to say uh, Charmander used flamethrower to set them on fire, but no, we didn't do that. Actually. I captured them in Pokeballs, because what a hell that is. Then proceeded to toss them off the nearest bridge into a pond, where I assume they are to remain to this day forever and ever. Like if some kid ever fishes them out, and you spend 100 watts on it, and you get this Pokeball with a Team Yell member in it, you might think it's a genie. But don't rub him, you'll go to jail. Hey, everybody! Welcome! <laughs> It's me, it's Hannah, it's Brett, and Hannah, backwards, That's also me. Hannah. This is a show, After Dark Rye, no holds, no, oh, oh, I forgot our own intro. It's been a while since I said it. I gotta make, I gotta do better at saying our own intro. Hey, this is Pokemon, After Dark Rye, a no holds barred, no nothing podcast where we talk about Pokemon and hurt the ones we love. Forever so, and ever. Forever. And ever. Uh, so, Hannah. So, Brett. Oh, gosh. So much stuff. First off, housekeeping. Sorry, y'all. I know we haven't been doing a lot of shows lately. It's just been... Life's been crazy, right? Uh, You know, I've been... Only, trapped. Always. Right. I've been, like, backpacking through Galar, uh, you know, as I learn about myself in life and... Uh, you know, while I was over there, I really got woke. I got awoke. I got woke. Um, yeah, I'm in college. No. Been super busy with stuff. Uh, plan on releasing more episodes a little bit more um, steadily than we normally do. Uh, especially once Let's Die kind of wraps up season three. Uh, it's almost done. I got to get these things done. That's my baby. So if you haven't heard Let's Die, go get caught up. Because pretty soon, it'll be the best time to get caught up as it winds down and as this show picks up. So, that's it. Let's die. His versus hers guide the apocalypse. It's a show. Also, hey, follow us on Twitter, After Dark Ride, just like it's spelled. You found the show. You know the name. It's easy to find on the Twitter. And participate when I ask shit. Like today, I asked a question, and I said anybody who answers this gets a shout-out. You know what happened? Hannah, what do you what? know what happened what? somebody 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 did a shout out somebody no well they earned Wait, a shout we're out we're gonna shout out to somebody we're, we're gonna shout out to somebody uh 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 uh, uh can i guess their name? sure yes steven Polly. <sighs> nope this is twitter this is twitter so i want you to dial it back to um Oh, uh, I mean, it's a Twitter name? A Twitter name. A Twitter handle, if you will. Oh, the first thing that came in my head was very inappropriate. Go ahead. So you go Twitter's ahead. The, Twitter's the place for it. 
Hey, by the way, this show is not for thine child's ears, so make them look away, but continue to allow them to hear. Um, you know, it's good for the soul. You grow up quick. No, nothing. Are you? Are, Brett sucks cocks and dicks. <laughs> XO, you XO. nailed it. <laughs> you know what? You're not totally wrong because uh, the person that responded is at augmented nator one. So A U G M E N T E D N A T U R and the number one augmented naturally. So thanks augmented naturally for responding. I'm not going to say what you said yet because this isn't the show for that, but it will be coming within three weeks and it'll be read during the show then. So hey, if you want to shout out on the show, head over to Twitter, follow us, and do the thing, do the stuff, so that I can play. Uh, we got a couple more shout outs. I know shout out heavy. This is ridiculous. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Pause. Right. Can can we pause it? Sure. Pausing the podcast? Or are we telling the no. listener to pause the show? No. no listener, no, pause the you show. Pause. You pause. You pause. Hold on. Hold on. Listener, pause the show. No, wait you pause. Wait approximately 20 seconds so that Hannah can tell me a secret. And we're back. Oh, my gosh, Hannah. I can't believe you used those bananas and and, and all that, that jelly. Like, whoa. That's amazing. And disturbing. I know, right? Welcome back, listener. Uh, I'm stopping. Hi, Jessica. Um, Shout uh, out to my favorite Pokemon. Hi, Mom. Uh, oh, okay, let's just, see. now you can continue your constant Shout rambling. out, Kevin. We should start a thing that allows us to get money from people that enjoy the show or, you know, get paid to do, to do shout outs. Uh, you know, I feel like Augmented Nature earned his uh, shout out. And mom earned it because she gave birth to me. By the way, check out, you know, make sure you follow Augmented Nature. It's a weekly podcast for using augmented reality games to balance your daily life, featuring gaming news, caffeine calibrations, health and fitness tips. Pew, pew, pew. So, yeah, do that. There's some free, some free uh, stuff for you there. Huh? Huh? And uh, also, shout out to Unbreakable over at the Pokemon Go Radio Discord. Hi. Hello. And is there anyone else I'm supposed to shout out here? Uh, no. Nope. Rory nope. Cat. He just walked in you the room. What? Okay. Hi, Rory Cat. Uh, I think there is one more that I'm supposed to shout out. But, uh, ooh, you know what? Cliffhanger. Stay tuned. Listen all the way at the end of the show. And if you think that's you, you might be right. Or. You might be severely disappointed. So let's get let's get this is a heavy, heavy duty show. It's oh my god, it's 13 minutes already. Ah, uh, all right, go go go. Uh, Pokemon Go community today. How'd you do? I got one shiny, and Only like one. Yep, and he was crap. Yep. I went two hours without getting a single one. Uh, meanwhile, West scored eight in that time. Oh my god. Was. Yeah, he he you got didn't get a shiny at all. He got back to back like four. It was insane. No, I finally did in the last hour. I I nabbed to get in the last hour. I got four. Um, oh. Nothing, no, nothing pretty particularly great stat wise. I got a decent one for the Great League PvP, and it is a monster. Very excited for that. I don't know when I'll ever get to use it, but uh, pretty good. Um, so what did you what do you think of Piplup and and the Piplup family there with Prinplup and Empoleon? Did you like the shiny? He should have been purple. Did you? Yeah, I was getting oh, I was, I was teeing you up there. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of. I, I think Piplup looks good, but I think when he's all the way up as Empoleon, he kind of loses that aqua luster that I like. Like I like the Miami kind of, almost Miami Dolphins colors of Piplup, and it just goes away as he gets bigger. Uh, the laces so... were in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to play with me. Oh, wrong movie. That's the second one. <laughs> um, <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to play with me. <sighs> okay. Remember so that they're... movie and how it villainized people who were transgendered? It doesn't hold up. It's still funny, but that not that part. Not that part. Anyway, it was a different time. Hannah, you fixed it. Did you fix it? It's the thing we're doing. Yes. You, Hannah, fixed it. She fixed the, the Piplup family, the shiny, how it should look. So, describe to me 
Actually, I'll describe to you what I'm seeing, and then you tell me your thought process. I'm seeing some, uh, some like a lavender, like a purpley lavender, uh, for like the coat portion of the penguin, and then it's like under area is like a uh, not a pink, but a lighter purple with some silver, like a silver beak and feetsies. Any part of it that was like supposed to be steel is like silver, and then it gets a bit darker as a polyon. I dig it. I I think I did a bad job. I kind of made it look a little grayish, but it's kind of hard for me to convey silver. Well, it's titanium. Titanium. And, so, and it has all my favorite shades of purple and titanium claws and a crown. So I think you did an excellent job. You took my words and put them into a pretty little picture. Thank you. Uh, and can you describe to me, because I am very underwhelmed with Heatran's shiny, because it basically just co- changes the color of his eyes. Right. And I to really pro- like the pink eyes. The pink eyes are dope, but the rest of him leaves a lot to be desired. And why don't you go ahead and spout off what I did? So I'm trying to do this from memory. Um, okay, so you took his body. He it's, looks it's like... right there in Messenger. Where? It's, it's, it's there. Oh, well, hold on. If you want to be Hannah's friend and messenger. I didn't want to tap my phone too much. a hundred dollars a month. Oh, Lauren. Every time. I got it. Okay. So, Heat Ran now has, the main color is yellow, but it's supposed to be like the hottest hot of molten lava. And he has like some little camo colored Rockies on him. It's probably the lava flowing. And then, sorry. <coughs> I literally oh, just... Oh, gosh, it was so good. You literally, yeah. like, choked up. Like, yes, yes. running down your face. And then his head is, like, black, like, solidified lava after it's cooled down. You got it. So, hey, listener, I know this is an audio podcast. I know you keep looking at your phone waiting for these pictures to show up, but they're not there You'll have to go to the aforementioned After Dark Rye on Twitter. Check it out. Let us know who fixed what better. Did I fix Heatran better? Did I fix the shiny? Or did uh, Hannah fix the Piplup and Empoleon family shiny and make it better? Uh, yeah, there's a side-by-side comparisons there. Tell us who did it better. I need to know. Or we can be, we can tie it up mm-hmm. just to make yeah. it fair because everybody wins. With a nice bow and hang a candy cane on it. Roll St. Nick. <sighs> did the show did the show die? Did I kill it just now with that joke? Maybe. I just ignore you. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the listeners did too. Let's let's bang through this Pokemon Go stuff. There's you know, the last show I was like, hey, go go listen to Pokemon Go Radio for the new stuff because we're like super behind and we're trying to get caught up here. But uh, Hannah, didn't something new happen since then that we can actually talk about that's still pretty new? Um, the Gen 5 expansion happened. Uh, they sure did. They sure did. And in alarming it? numbers. Who it it? You want me to... Who God, it it? Why- why do you pick me to name these? I thought you had it up. Well, I do, but I'm just terrible at pronouncing these names. Okay. Oh, that's even better. That's better than so, you. So most I've seen, like, out in the wild are the Temples, the Shelmets, caught a few Carablasts. Uh-huh. Um, and Dweeble. He's, mm-hmm. like, the rock crab guy. Mm-hmm. And the Venipede. Mm-hmm. So there's the Dweeble and the Venipede you can find in 2K Eggs, Temple, Shelmet, Carabalast. You can find a 5K Eggs with also uh, Rog and Rolla. Didn't we, like, do him recently on a podcast? We did. Good. Sh- mm-hmm. sh- hey, hey, that is a good callback. Hey, go back and check out the Rog and Rolla Gigalith slash... Boldor episode, which I believe was the last episode, actually the the very last episode it was. It's called Breath with Boldoring me. because I am super Boldoring with Hanner. Yeah, and I, I was in there. And I'm and terrible. So and Joel ticks out, and he's super cute, and I have not caught one yet. 
I need an um, electric spider in my life. He's one of my favorites, and I agree. He can uh, be in, in the wild in 5K eggs. And so yeah, all <laughs> them guys. Them? Hold on. Right. There's one more. One more. Well, there's several more. But anyway, Trubbish. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Is that a bag of trash? He's a bag of trash. Don't hurt his feelings and don't trash shame him. He can't control his body. It looks like one of Dozer's dog poop bags with yeah. arms. And f- f- for the people at home, Dozer is a beautiful little Pokemon that is yours in the life of worlds. Life of, in the life of worlds. That's the way you say in real life. He's my living, breathing Houndor. That's, he's a Houndoom, but anyway. He's a uh, Houndor. Yeah, all them Pokemons are out in the wild, including their evolutions. Um, they also did the trade thingy where you can trade certain ones mm-hmm. and it'll give you a monster discount. So a lot of like those guys like Alakazam and Gravel or, you know, trade Kadabra for Alakazam or a Graveler or a Haunter or the aforementioned Carablast and Shelmet. You trade them, that 100 candies or however much it is becomes zero. And I think Carablast and Shelmet are 200. Are they 150 or 200? They're 200. Insanity. They're not even that good. Come on. What? I, don't know. I, I mean, I guess it's fine. There's got it. I like that there's multiple ways to get things. And especially for like newer players, this is a great way to fill out their decks is easier and it encourages trading. So I guess it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, Jasmine and I traded a Shelmet. Um, I need to trade a Carablast with Allison. I mean, oh, it was pretty cool. cool. I mean, it's kind of nice to Just evolve them. Mm-hmm. Huh? Nothing. Because okay. Allison asked first. Calm down. Oh, okay. Me and Wes got Lucky Friends, baby. We've only been trying since Lucky Friends came out, and we gave up, and it finally happened. Guess who's going to have a shiny, lucky Rayquaza very soon? He's got two thumbs, and it's pointing directly at me, and if there was someone else here, they could point a thumb at me, too, for three. It's this guy. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about most of the time today. Um, it's a long, long day. Can I tell you about my day? No. Okay. Well, so I got asked uh, how many hours my crew has worked for the past three years. And, of course, the records have been expunged from the accounting department. Uh, and that's why they needed to know, turns out. And I had to count... Every individual person's hours from every single week, from every single month, from every single year for two years. And my brain turned too much. Hey, at least you weren't doing that outside in 30 degree weather. Oh, well, it might as well be that now because my furnace does not want to work and it's 50 degrees in my house. I am frozen. A cryogonal could spawn in my house. In fact, that would be awesome, because I tried to throw a lure down on, on Community Day, and it did not show up. An ice lure, that is. Uh, hey. Yeah. Can we talk about Pokemon now? Yeah, um, so there was a Pokemon <laughs> Direct. Now, Pokemon Go is, like, that's a kind of its own, you know, it's a Neantic thing. Um, they kind of do their own thing. So in the Pokemon Direct, they didn't say anything. Which is really upsetting because they, but they did talk a lot about Sword and Shield, and the reason why I said it was upsetting for us because where the fuck are my goddamn gal- Galar forms in Pokemon Go? Uh, when Sun and Moon came out, it was like almost immediate. I think within like a week or two, there were a Lolan forms of the Gen One Pokemon's hanging out. Executor was in raids. You can catch the dudes out of Seven K eggs, and it was fun. It made 7K eggs fun to get again because there was just this new thing that you could only get from 7K eggs. And is I expected it. Like, this is the Nintendo Switch game? Yes, it's a main series game. I fully expected them to follow suit because they knew. They knew the game was coming out just like they did with Sun and Moon. So why? Where are they? I mean, hand in hand, Galarian Weezing came out in raids on a community day for the release of Sword and Shield. Uh, and then we oh, have exactly. yeah. we have not had a single one since, and there are quite a few of them that are. I understand like why you wouldn't get a Galarian form of a Pokemon that's not in the game because it's a Gen Six or whatever, if that's the case. Or even if it was a Galarian evolution like Obstagoon, Obstagoon's not in the game right now. 
But there's no reason why you couldn't get Galarian Zigzagoon or Lanoon or uh, Ponyta, like a Galarian Ponyta. That'd be fucking dope. Where is it? Where is Where? it? Where? Where are you? Oh, okay. Rant. You no, know, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this every week until it happens, and when it happens, we'll have ourselves a little ditty. Oh my god, I'm checking Pokemon in my house, and I just got a shiny. No, you didn't. I just got a shiny just now, live on Saturday night. Or, no, it's Monday. Not Saturday night. Let me catch you. All right, Golden Rats, throw the Pokeball. It is a shiny male Nidoran. Oh, I have my, one though. Oh, oh, well, excuse me for not being more exciting to you. Jeez. You couldn't just be happy for me. You're like, well, oh, now we can, oh. like, uh, trade them. Well, the thing is, is I also already have one. But I, you know, I will always take a second one because it is a good shiny. Swaps the colors with the female version. I meant we trade the same ones, dingy. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Gotta get a lucky friend first. All right, all right, moving on. The Pokemon Direct. Again. We're getting super okay. sidetracked. What is this show? Uh, oh, they announced an expansion. Uh, well, for okay, hold on. We'll get to that because there's a lot there. But they announced a new game. Comes out March 6th this year. Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. It looks real pretty. The art style is very much like a like a water painting, watercolor painting or something. Um, it's a remake of the original Rescue Team games. I'm gonna get it. It looks great. I love and I love that you're playing as Pokemon and not as a trainer catching Pokemon. It's real cute. Have you seen that? Nope. Good. <laughs> Moving on. The Sword and Shield expansion. First one comes out in uh, the summer. That's the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, which comes out in fall. $30 nets you both of them. Sounds like a decent deal to me. I know people are all pissed off about the whole, oh, they cut Pokemon from the main game so they can turn around and sell them back to us. I don't know. I think with the size of the the, the you know, the staff that they have there, like, they they could have delayed the game to put more Pokemon in, and I, I kind of wish they'd have just done that anyway. Avoid all the fuss, but I'm sure they needed to release before Christmas. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm not mad about it. I'm into it. Uh, over 100 Pokemon in each one. They said new, but clearly by the trailer, which I'm assuming you watched because you're a Pokemaniac, uh, you, we've got finally got, you know, we got the return of Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Um, he makes her Squirtle. Uh, Why do you always sound like you have the worst <laughs> Boston accent when you say that? I go Red Sox, Squirtle. Okay, Red now Red you Sox. sound like... Get away from my screen door. I don't open it for no popo. No, I sound like an old lady who smokes too much. That's what I was getting ready to Listen say. Yes, Sonny. If you I don't mean... return your library books on time, you're going to have to pay the fine. I mean, are you really that far Squirtle. off from an old lady who smokes too much? My name is Squido. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not an old lady. I just smoke a lot. Squido. <laughs> Ladies love it when I make them Squido. Yuck. <laughs> All right, Hannah, I'll see you in court. Um. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, the Reggies are coming back. Uh, there's new Reggies, which is exciting. Uh, I'm not crazy, like, <gasps> Reggie. Sorry. Jesus! Were you attacked? No, I dropped my pen right on my cat. Officer <laughs> Jenny! Nurse Joy, someone! Nine I like how I called for fake people instead of real people first. Um... <laughs> So there's an electric Reggie. I'm calling him Reggie Electric. And there's a dragon Reggie. I'm calling him Reggie Ragon. Regigron. Regigron. Reggie. Just to be different. Don't don't Ruh -ruh, Reggie. Reggie. Roll roll. Uh there's new legendaries. Uh specifically <laughs> in the Isle of Armor. You get a Cub Fu, which is First off, the, the Eastern thing, I mean, it's supposed to be Galar, which is, like, based on the UK, and then there's, like, Asian stuff, and, you know. Uh, it evolves into Urshifu, they're, like, fighting dudes, whatever. It's fine. I implore you, Google these Pokemon as I describe them to you. Kupfu's, like, a little fighting right. painted. What? Right. You're pretty used to fighting dudes, aren't you? Yeah, sword yeah. fighting, then, that is. Yeah, fighting. like to fight play Ghostbusters, all. only instead we cross the streams. 
and then make a marshmallow man explode. Creamy guts. This is uh, getting crazy, really. You started it. Cup Fu's like a little fighting panda guy, and you know we've never had one of those before in the game, ever. Uh, and he evolves into a big fighting bear with two different types depending on the form he takes. One is water and fighting, and one is uh, dark and fighting, I believe. Um, yeah, he's a guy. You know, nothing nothing crazy about that. Then they also showed the Crown Tundra Legendary, which is Calyrex. Uh, Hannah, you gotta... If you haven't Googled, Google Calyrex. C-L-C... Nope, nope. C-A-L-Y-R-E-X. Oh my gosh, you like smashing. I hope that comes through on the audio. You were like smashing the keys with your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I spelled it right. C -A what the heck is that? <laughs> Live reaction. This is like one of those lazy reaction videos. It's Han is Hannah that... reacts to bad Pokemon. What is that? It's supposed it to be like... cross. It's like a bunny deer guy, but he's also a king, and he's a psychic type, so he floats around because we've never had a psychic legendary before. Oh, and he's grass type because he's a grassy boy. Um, yeah, that's what that's him. So people, by now, if you haven't seen Calyrex, you've been under a rock, or you just don't care, and yeah, I don't either. Like, I'm underwhelmed with these guys. I'll still catch them, I'm sure. I'll, maybe in motion, I'll learn to love them, but yeah. Hmm. Um, the game was updated. Didn't really seem to fix anything, but it did add a Galarian Slowpoke to the train station, so if you update your game and go there right now, if you haven't done it already, there's a Slowpoke there. Galarian Slowpoke. Uh, waiting for to be caught, which, by the way, you know, there's no Galarian Slowpoke in Pokemon Go. I wish there was, because he looks fucking awesome. Uh, and, and did you know Galarian Slowpoke has a regional variant because he loves this spice. I forgot what the spice is called, but it's called, like, Galarsian Spice or something incredibly derivative. But he likes it so much that he lost his water typing. He's a pure psychic type, and his head looks like he's a little... He's got a little little glowy bits, like it's like all yellowed up because he's so he's got the spice. Like I'm trying to like, talk like he's got in Dune and he's high on spice. Like from Dune, yeah. Look at look at your man, Hannah. Look at your man. Now look back to Galarian Slowpoke. Now look back to your man again. Okay. Look back to Galarian Slowpoke. Okay. He's oh, on the spice. Oh. Ah. Ah. And a horse. Ah. It's a Rapidash, but it's not a Galarian Rapidash because they're not in fucking Pokemon Go. Well, the instructions are unclear. Somehow I ended up looking outside. Okay. What am I looking at again? I don't know why he's out there. It's fine. It was, I was making a joke. How oh, terrible. the Kanto starters and the Galarian starters all got Dynamax forms. And Hannah, by God, did you see Inteleons? Inteleons. Because Inteleons, Inteleons. it's another one live. Hannah reacts. Google Inteleon Dynamax. I-N-T-E-L-E-O-N-D-Y-N-A Max. X, 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 X. Don't, don't put the X's. Don't put all the X's that I just said. Don't do that. Okay, I won't. Okay. Is it trying to sell me car insurance? Nope. Nope, that's not what Inteleon's trying to do. Inteleon's trying to put a bullet through your skull. Because Inteleon's tail stretches out so long and then curls up at the top to form a sniper tower and they actually gave Inteleon a sniper rifle. He has a sniper tower with a sniper rifle. A sniper tail with a sniper rifle? No, it's a tail that turns into a sniper tower and then he has a sniper rifle. A legit sniper rifle. <laughs> like they had, I guess, Pokemon with bone clubs and conkledur has got those big concrete pillar things, which, by the way, we forgot to mention, Timber's in the game... Raids only, uh, better than Machamp, oh, but hard to not be better than Machamp when you're carrying around fucking pillars to smash people's brains in with, but I digress. Uh, did you find it yet? Yes. Yeah. They, Tell me that's not a bizarre the, choice. They, they, uh, adopted the Second Amendment, the a Second it's Amendment. The Second Amendment, anemone, anemone, they adopted the Second Marini, folks, uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't know about it. Like they, they're I mean, like, you know what? Cool. No, it's awful. What? I hate it. 
<laughs> I don't oh, like I'm to sorry. think about like intellions with mental illnesses shooting up my schools. I mean, it is weird, but what if a child brought his intellion to school? There are children Pokemon trainers. And he uh, brings his Inteleon to school and he gets into a schoolyard brawl and he says, Inteleon, use well, headshot. People would just send their thoughts and prayers. Duh. Uh, well, Jesus won't help because you don't get enough likes. That's not this kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> We're everywhere tonight. I know. It's almost like I had coffee, but I didn't. It's kind of like manic tiredness. I'm exhausted. It's almost and I'm, did I mention I'm cold? So, yeah, I'm tired too. I didn't sleep very well at all oh, last night. And, oh, back. Uh, yeah. uh, we got to keep going. New clothing, yeah. customization options for your character. Um, doesn't seem like you'll be able to How change your body this? size, so everyone will be still exactly listening the same. to us. I don't know, but we're gonna keep going. There's new wild areas in each game. New storyline featuring mustard. You heard that right? Moving, mustard. pushing forward. Oh yeah, I said it. You mustard's gross. <laughs> Uh, and new Galarian forms for old legendaries. The bird trios got some new ones. Did you see those? I'm pretty sure I sent that. I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm guaranteed. I guarantee that I sent a link in the group chat, and you guarantee that everybody just ignored me. Like usual. So, Moltres looks awesome. He looks like a dark phoenix rising. X-Men, what up? Oh, yeah. I think I kind of vaguely looked at that. Uh, Articuno looks like it's wearing a face laser beam helmet, like it's a Power Ranger slash alien oh. creature. I love it. it uh, it's purple. 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 And purple. Zapdos looks like a uh, Roadrunner from hell that is ready to kick the ever-living shit out of you like a cassowary. If you don't know what a cassowary is, I cannot, for the love of God, spell it for you. But if you say uh, something along the lines of, Alexa, buy me three cassowaries, you might figure it out. Um, it looks like Zapdos never missed a leg day in his life. Alexa, purchase 17 cassowaries. Uh, I don't have an Alexa. Who are you talking to? The listener and causing havoc with their own systems. Oh. Siri, what is a cassowary? No, we wait. I don't, I don't have Apple. Well, no, I'm saying it for the listener. All right, now, oh, well, now Siri, Siri is done telling them what a cassowary is, and we can continue. So, yeah, uh, they look awesome. I'm guessing they're going to get new types. Pretty much all the Galarian forms of old Pokemon have new types. Um, my guess is Articuno. Like, they're going to have an ability levitate, so and they're going to do away with the, the, um, the ice typing. Either that... Oh, for Articuno, I, I don't know. It could go either way. I could see, I could see it being like a ice fairy, and then having like levitate or something so that it can, you know, because it's still a bird. Or if it could just be flying fairy and just learn ice moves. Um, I guess Moltres. You you guess what would you think Moltres would be? It's definitely going to be fire or something. It's got to be a fire chicken. I was gonna say fire dark. I don't think chicken's a type of po like a type. Um, yeah, but there's like I would think that the Kentucky Fried Combuskin is already a fire chicken. So, uh, what are my options again? Oh my gosh! Never mind. Uh, I'm going fire. We'll just go fire dark. I mean, it's black. It's got black in there. I mean, I don't know yeah. what else possibly be. Yeah. I mean, so what, very no. dark. What would be the triangle in that sausage there? Uh, Zap Zapdos. I mean, electric fighting. Electric. No, I'm going electric. Electric fighting. and ground. Yeah, I could see ground. That would make sense. Like if it's a running guy, but I could also see fighting because it will kick the ever living shit out of you. Or is there a running option? Yes, there is a primal element. I kid, I running. kid. I kid. Nope. Yeah, I think. Get it. You know what you've done, and I'm hereby placing you under arrest uh, for bad jokeries. Oh, my God. Can I tell you a joke I heard today? <sighs> yep. Totally off, off subject. You say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay. 
Are you ready? <laughs> yup. Hold on. Oh my I gotta gosh. set this up. Alexa, play inspirational music. Okay. Do you know how they spell? Do we have Canadian listeners? I hope this doesn't offend anybody. Do you know how they spell Canada she in says, Canada? She's going to say the joke anyway. Go ahead. No, I don't know how. C-A-N-A-D-A. Did you like my joke, A? No. No, I really didn't. <laughs> oh, uh, come on. That was funny, A. You're being sentenced to the maximum penalty under the law, which in this case, I believe, is death. Wow, that's a little harsh for a terrible dad joke. Well, you know, shouldn't be such a terrible dad and neglect those children babies. Aww. You gotta take care of your children babies. I take care of my fur children babies. Uh, 1% of our listenership is in Canada. So, there you I'm go. I'm sorry. Canada, come get us. <laughs> We're not They're gonna invade us. Hey, 4% is hey. in the United Kingdom. And 2% is in Mexico. That's a shocker. 1% Australia. I don't even know where Jersey is. Not like New, New Jersey. Jersey? No, there's like a country called Jersey. Why don't uh, you Google it? Hey, yeah. Alexa. No, where is we can't the country? Hear. It doesn't work for us. We can't hear <laughs> what the listeners Alexa is doing. Uh, 86% is in the United States. Well, maybe they don't know where Jersey is either. It's Eastern. East Coast, Eastern of the Coasts. Well, if if you keep going east, would eventually you be going west? The country of Jersey. Hey, listen here, Jersey, this is for you. Hey, first off, thank you so much for listening. Uh, it is the largest of the Channel Islands between England and France, a self-governing dependency of the United Kingdom with a mix of British and French cultures. It's known for its beaches, cliff sides, walking trails, inland valleys, and historic castles. Straight from Google, that UK postcode baby is JE1 through JE5. Super easy. You know what? Let's go. It looks pretty dope. Jersey, this one's for Shout you. Shout out to all my Jersey peeps. Jersey! Definitely better than New Jersey. I think I prefer the old Jersey. Oh, come at us, New Jersey. You bitches. What were we talking about? All right, Sword and Shield expansion over. I'm going to get it. It's going to be great. Can't wait to get Wes and or Taylor's thoughts on it whenever I can get them on the goddamn show so we can do the goddamn part three for Sword and Shield. I swear to Christ it's coming, even if I got to do it myself and pull someone's goddamn teeth out. Unrelated. Uh, they also said Pokemon Home is coming in February. Um, that's where you're going to be able to transfer your Pokemon from other games over into Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's going to be a one-way street for Pokemon Go, though. You're not going to be able to send... You're going to be able to send, like, for instance, probably your Armored Mewtwo... Uh, from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Sword and Shield, but it will not be able to come back. So, if you were trying to offload a whole bunch of let you know shitty stat statted legendaries, that would be the way to do it. Um, but obviously, you wouldn't want to get rid of your main dudes like for PVE and PVP. You wouldn't want to do that. But uh, I have seen Armored Mewtwo in Sword and Shield, not personally, but uh, just through internet videos, and he looks awesome. Let me tell you. But that's Pokemon tell, Home. Tell it's coming. I'm telling you right now. It's coming, baby. Um, so, yeah, I think we're caught up on the news. Do, 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 do. What do you think of Lapras? That's in Pokemon Go. That's in the research. Yeah. I mean, you've already got get shirt. another shiny. I'll be cool. But it's another I mean, month of me relaxing and not have to worry about doing a damn quest every day. So. I, I mean, like those. I like going hard for a couple months, and then I like taking a break for a couple months. So it works for me. I mean, I still do it unless it's like, I don't know. I like Lapras, Lapras, Lapras. I just think it's cute. So I'll get as many as I want. I hear you. So do you I'll got anything else? Because I think, I think, uh, yeah. Are we going to destroy a Pokemon today? No, today is not a random Pokemon day. Oh, today was a getting was a getting caught up with news day and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you didn't let me finish. the. We didn't finish going over all the what? new Nova. Pokemon. You should have thought of that before you got sent to jail. 
Well, maybe you should. Prison. You can me. write me a letter from prison, and I will read it on the air. Hey. Go ahead. Go ahead, tell us. Uh, we're we're backtracking. Uh, I know. What, I mentioned Timber. What's red? Did what? What's red and white and ugly all over? It's Timber. He's in raids. Uh, Latios, Latios are coming this weekend. It's going down. I'm yelling Timber. Oh, very good. Save it for the Timber episode. Oh, when is that going to happen? Whenever we randomly land on it, for the love of all that is holy, I hope it's not soon. Did you get a party hat, Wurmple? Yes, I did not get a shiny, but I got several party hat, Wurmples. That's all that matters. I refuse to catch the party hat uh, Raticade, because the rat kind of grosses me out, so... (laughs) You're body shaming I'm, again. You're doing it again, you monster. I mean, I like rats. I've had pet rats. They're adorable, but mm-hmm. I just don't want him wearing a party hat. So you should have just named it Splinter and move on. Well, well, we live, and then we just eat potatoes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm running on very little sleep. I don't know why you asked me to do this. Well, we're almost done. What? I don't know what else you want to talk about. You said you wanted to go over the other Unova Pokemon, and then we started talking about other stuff. Oh, well, in 10K eggs, there's a uh, Tortuga. It's a turtle. It's a sea turtle. It is. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. It's adorable. What? Uh, actually. I mixed my references there. Leonardo liked the Ninja Turtles and DiCaprio because he sank in off the door and drowned. Wow. In the water. Uh, yeah. Tortuga's awesome. I hate that he's in 10 KX because it means I'll never get one. I know. Still Archon? ain't got that Gibble. Still ain't got that Dino. Uh, Mom hatched an Archon. Uh, and I'm very jealous because, like I said, I love those fossil boys and they're those little fossil friends. I love them. And I'll never get one. We need to go to Egypt because... Uh... Which makes Sigilyph? no sense. I know exactly what you're going to say. It makes no fucking sense because Sigilyph, it, it's clearly like Native American inspired. Or at the mm-hmm. very least, it's um, oh, Inuit, right? Uh, or Greece would be cool. It's in Egypt and Greece. It, it looks like a totem. Do we have Greece? Is, is, isn't it the totem Pokemon? I swear to God, if it is, I will burn my yeah, own house to the so. ground. S- Sigilyph? Am I saying it right? Yeah, and... It is it or is it not? Do they do they or do they not have totems? Do they have totem poles in Egypt? I don't. I mean, they, they write don't. stuff on the walls. They, yeah, that's right. They have una, unknowns. They get unknowns. We get sigilists here in North America. They've stolen. Native American. They get rando unknowns just pop up wherever. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't mind going. I was to Egypt. wrong. It is not the totem Pokemon. It is the a- Avianoid Pokemon. I don't know what the hell that means, but it, it looks like a totem. I'm I'm saying right now, they dropped the ball on this boy, this f- wonderful friend that I'll never have. I have a friend that lives in Egypt. Mm. We went to college together. Great, lovely. What else? Uh... There's throw. some hemisphere guys in there, aren't there? Yep, throw and sock. Yeah. And then in the southern United States, I wonder if Jasmine has this one. Maractus. 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 Mm-hmm. It's a cactus. It's a cactus. Have you seen uh, that one? You mean Savannah? No, I don't believe yeah. so, or we would have heard Did from I say it. Jasmine? Also, you said uh-huh. Jasmine. Uh, I'm sorry. Full disclosure, those are my sisters, and you can hear them on last week's episode of Let's Die, the His vs. Hers Guide to the Apocalypse. Oh, that segue. We talked about Harry Potter, made a lot of fart, uh, fart, fart spell jokes, spell fart jokes, and uh, talk about really terrible things. It's really a disturbing episode that I do not like to think about. Uh, no, Maractus is like, I believe it's further east, further west. Keep going west, like out Nevada ways. You got oh. Carnivine, who's down south. Uh, mm-hmm. You got Maractus, which is down well, out west. Southern United States, Mexico, Arizona. Central America, yeah, it, the Caribbean, and South America. 
That sounds like Carnivine. But maybe I'm wrong. Carnivine is down like in Florida and it's like which I don't go to Florida. Florida, Florida so man. I love Florida. And Florida men. That sounds legit. Oh, shout out. Uh shout out to Florida Men on Florida Man. Great podcast. Listen to that show. I can't stop laughing. Um are there any more? Fire blast through these because we've got we've just got. To I think that's it. Oh, that's it. We did it. And you wondered why we weren't going to roast a Pokemon today. Yeah. Forty five minutes. I know there are shows that go for like an hour, two hours, three, even three hours. Some that I listen to. Forty five minutes feels like I'm dying, and there's no reprieve. The deep, dark void of my heart has sucked in my soul into an endless oblivion nightmare hellscape from whence I shall never recover. Promise. I think you'll be okay. Just put some ice on it. Uh-huh. Well, that's been this show, which is called, and I'm going to say it again, Pokemon After Dark Cry. No holds barred, no nothing podcast about Pokemon where we talk about them Pokemons and hurt the ones we love. Damn it, I fucked it up again. Uh... We, we, you know, we've talked about Twitter and stuff enough, but uh, check us out. Instagram. I don't remember what it is. It's in the description. There's a YouTube channel where we back up all the episodes. Uh, not so much After Dark Ride yet, but I'm working on it slowly. There's some of them on there. Um, but follow me there. Follow us there. Excuse me. Um, and Facebook at the... Oh, rebranding. Housekeeping. Rebranding. YouTube and Facebook is now at The Pod Dog because there are two... New shows. New shows. I am working so much. Uh, there are two new shows coming within the next... By the latest next year. By the latest next year. Early. This is an early announcement. You're getting in on the ground floor. You paid us a premium membership, and this is on the sly. So if you're not hearing this, it's because you didn't do it. But if you are hearing then you're in the know. You're a cool person. Use oh, this oh, at a nightclub, and they'll let you in with that info. There's two new shows that I'm working on. They're going to come out eventually, within the next year and a half-ish. Uh, so, yeah, The Pod Dog is not the name of it. That's just the name, the umbrella term for whence these shows will appear on Facebook and YouTube. Okay? I beat Giovanni. I forgot to say that. Oh, my God. We got to go. Uh, you know... <laughs> Okay. After you beat Giovanni. You gotta nope. tuck in the pajamas. Well, Dark Rye would tuck in those pajamas. Oh yeah. I'm I had mine all picked out. Like you ruined it. Go ahead. After you pet the marshmallows. Dark Rye will come and bite your pillows. Bye See? everybody. <laughs> Bye. Have a one. And another shout out to PGR Overseer, the illustrious Justin. I made you wait all the way to the end, didn't I? Ain't I a stinker? What? I need to get ready for work tomorrow. Joy. You, how are you going to do that from prison? Do they have uh, work from prison jobs? Stamping? License plates? Smuggling cigarettes prison. in your anus? Your anus? They give prisoners showers and jobs. I could get a stamp some license among plates. Anus. I mean... You could get your degree and become a lawyer. Try to argue your way out of your own sentence. Because we know you're not getting out for good behavior. Because you're a criminal. But what if I behaved good while in there? Uh, well then, I, I would like down. to ask my attorney, the Rear Admiral, Bung Ho! I tied it back to Ace Ventura. <laughs>
My favorite one. That was the second one, wasn't it? Like, yeah, I went. He stuck, I went you, for liar, liar, and then ended with Ace Ventura two. You must be the Monopoly guy. You're not Basco. You're not collect two hundred dollars. All right then. We got all right. That's enough. That's good enough for the end bit. Fuck this. Oh, you're still recording.